It is a national epidemic and no community is safe. The Centers for Disease Control says every day 78 Americans die from opioid overdoses. Well, now lawmakers are stepping up efforts to stop the trend and save lives here in Colorado. Here's CBS4 Stan Bush. State Representative Brittany Pedersen says the opioid epidemic is personal. My mom became addicted to pain pills when I was six years old. It's why Pedersen worked to pass opioid legislation a year ago and now chairs a subcommittee that hopes to close the state's gaps in coverage and treatment, getting input from law enforcement and health providers, noting the state's problems stemming the addiction crisis. Hearing the stories of the people that are really at the front lines of this is, is incredibly meaningful. It comes as opioid cases are spreading appearing in places they haven't before. I suspect the reason I'm hearing about it in rural areas uh, so much is that there is such a lack of uh, addiction treatment. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett testified as federal lawmakers also wrestle with the issue, seen as a major factor in the failed Obamacare repeal because significant cuts to Medicaid would hit hardest in places that rely heavily on the system. The only insurance a lot of people have in some of those counties is, or a major source of insurance, is Medicaid. And in many cases, the only source of insurance that will cover addiction treatment is Medicaid. Pedersen says her mother has struggled with addiction for decades and hopes to use her seat to help. She was begging for help and realizing that there were no options out there. I think that that's when how broken our system actually became apparent for me. In Denver, Stan Bush, covering Colorado First.